China announced the ambitious target of carbon neutrality by 2060 uh, because of international responsibility but also its intrinsic needs. China is a part of the uh, global community, so uh, it's, uh, China's leadership is extremely important uh, for the success of the global climate target. Uh, intrinsically, uh, reducing carbon emissions is aligned with China's interests of reducing air pollution, transform its industrial structure, uh, transform its energy sector, and improve energy efficiency. So putting together, uh, it's the right time for China to announce the climate neutrality target. China announced its carbon neutrality target during the, the pandemic. So that decision was very unusual because it was not under the pressure of any country, any developed country. And the announcement was unilateral without a significant commitment from the United States, from EU. So uh, this is the unilateral commitment. And China's announcement helped to incentivize other countries to follow the steps of China. For example, uh, Japan and South Korea announced it their carbon neutrality targets after China and the Biden administration, uh, once it came to power, uh, also announced uh, its carbon neutrality target. So China indeed uh, boosted the global confidence in fighting against global climate change. It's very challenging. Uh, because of the balance of economic growth and decarbonization, by the end of this decade, around 2030, China is about to emit 12 billion tons of greenhouse gases, or carbon dioxide equivalent. So it means that it only leaves China 30 years to achieve net zero emission. It means that China needs to reduce about 400 million tons of carbon dioxide per year. This has never happened in human history, especially for a country still needs significant economic growth. It needs to eliminate emissions for a mid-sized European country. So I think China will achieve two miracles at the same time. One is the miracle for economic growth Another miracle is for decarbonization. This is a challenge uh, we never experienced and we are very anxious to make it happen. In terms of the policy measures, so all the policies, uh, especially climate policy, uh, they are related to assigning a price to carbon. So there could be the explicit price or implicit price. So explicit carbon pricing, this has become a market-based instrument for China to achieve its emission target while minimizing its economic impact. But also there are many other implicit carbon pricing policies, especially for emission standard uh, pilots and also for advocacy of uh, the low carbon lifestyle. Besides climate policy, China has many other complementary climate policy. All the sectoral policy related to energy saving, uh, energy transformation will contribute to China's climate target. We have discussed a lot about the costs of climate mitigation, uh, especially for the national uh, carbon emission trading scheme. Uh, the, it originally covered the power generation sector, uh, but it will be expanded to seven other sectors, uh, in, including building materials, petrochemical, chemical, paper, uh, steel, non-ferrous metal, uh, and domestic aviation. So these sectors, they will be under pressure, under great pressure to reduce their emissions but also we need to uh, look at that. As China continues to grow the economy, as we substitute the, the dirty sector with the low carbon ones, it will create lots of lots of business opportunities. 
So I, I tend to focus more on the new opportunities that will be created by the China's low carbon transition. Everyone will be affected. Uh, if you look at the United States, about 20% of emissions are related to household. Uh, that's the direct emission. If we count indirect emission, actually 80% of emissions, they are related to household. It means that reducing emissions is not the, just the responsibility of companies, not the power generators, not the manufacturing sectors, but also our, our daily lifestyle. So it will change and it needs the change of our daily lifestyle. Travel less, use uh, the teleconference, use green energy, use public transport. If you have to drive, drive a, a new uh, energy car. Uh, so use uh, light, uh, energy saving lighting bulbs, use energy saving appliances at home. Uh, this will help us to reduce our uh, energy use or use more green energy.